Okay, hi. I am going to show you how to warp one of these notched frame looms that um, my husband makes them, but there are also similar ones you can find online or in stores. So this is just, I believe this is a three ply wool warp yarn, but you can use other things too. So this is the front of the loom. This is the back and here's the side. We're going to warp the loom so that all the warp yarn is on the front, not going around in a circle just right here on the front. So I'm going to start by taking the end of the yarn and notching it, uh, putting in the notch on the, I usually start on the top left. I'm going to put it through like this so I have maybe three or four inches hanging out the back. And I'm going to come to the front. Can you see it? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go straight down to the first notch on the bottom. Then I'm going to go around the back and you'll see right here, I'm just gonna go back toward the front on the next notch over. Now this one actually fell up, but that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna come back to the top and I'm gonna turn around to the back. Now I'm gonna secure this end. I'm just gonna do two half hitches around this uh, warp yarn with my end here. So I'm just gonna go around once and pull it up here and then around again twice. So that way the end is secured. Uh, now I'm just going to go through the rest of these notches one at a time back and forth until we get to the end and there's going to be a slightly different way to secure it on the other end. So next notch over and up here around the back again to the next notch down the front. And I'll just keep going. So this this loom specifically is six ends per inch, so it's set up more for a tapestry weaving or a weft face weaving. <clears throat> you can also double warp it, which means you just, instead of holding one piece of yarn and pulling it through each notch, you're taking two pieces of yarn, like in my in your hand simultaneously, two pieces of yarn, putting it through each notch. So it, if I had two pieces, two strands, I would do the same thing like this and that would be double warping it and then you'd have two ends per notch which on this loom if it's six ends per inch it would be 12 ends I'd have then and then you could get more of a balanced weave where you see the warp and the weft in the weaving so I'm just gonna keep going all the way across and so this loom is not a tensioning loom so as I'm going across here I'm not trying to pull the yarn really tight but I am trying to keep it pretty consistent and under a bit of tension as I put it on. So it's firm, but it's not really, really tight. But whatever I kind of put it on as, you know, it more or less will be when I'm done. You can kind of tighten it up a little bit, but <clears throat> there's no, it's hard to adjust the tension too much once it's on. But that's okay, it still works. So I'm gonna start doing this a little faster, I think. I might. And you don't have to warp it the full width. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> but you can just warp it a little narrower if you want. Oops. And maybe I'll do another video sometime on kind of the way to finish. People let me know in the comments. I never say that. In the comments, you should let me know if you want me to <laughs> make another video about um, how to take it off the loom finishing techniques. I do have another video on this uh, YouTube channel about the hem stitch and that's part of kind of finishing your weaving. That's one way to do it. So you just go back and forth. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter, mm, at least to me it doesn't matter, if these looms have an even or odd number of warp ends. But you do want to have the same number of notches on the top and bottom. So you see I went through the last one here and then I'm going to go through the last one here. Now the way that I do this, I've seen other people do it differently, but um, so when I come, this is the back now, this is the front. See all the warp is on the front, not on the back, but now I'm going to turn to the back and I'm actually going to wrap it around back through the front and down. So here's how the front looks. Here's how the back looks. Now I'm going to rip this off or cut it, whatever you want to do. 
And now I'm gonna, again, have to make a knot here so that this doesn't slide up. So I'm actually gonna loosen this a little bit. Do you wanna try that one, show it one more time, okay. Liz? Just yes, I make can. sure that Thank you. we got it for the viewers. My camera person, Lisa, <laughs> is giving me excellent suggestions. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> right, so <clears throat> the last notch, I came up through it to the back and I'm just going to wrap it back around through the front again. Does that clear? Makes sense. Okay, okay good. And now I just loosen this a little bit because I'm going to stick this end through. So basically I'm trying to do two half hitches here, but I don't have kind of two ends to work with. So I'm, you know, using this end and tying it around this one. So I'm going to go through, let's see, how do I... I usually go through, I think, tighten that, pull on this to tighten the loop, and then stick the end through here. And then I kind of then make this, tighten that one down, and then put the end through this one. Should I do that again? It's yeah, do confusing. it one more time. So it's a little confusing. <laughs> but And you can do it other ways, but basically you just want to make some sort of a knot here. Um, sorry, let me get this all out. There might be an easier way to do it, but that's how I do it. Two knots around with this piece, more or less around this, or, or in some way so that it's secured. But yeah, I think I generally loosen that, put it through, and this kind of reminds me of what I do with a sewing needle when I'm tying it off. Kind of go under like that, and then I'm going to pull on this which will tighten that. Stick the end through here. And I usually pull here to like kind of tighten that in, bring that in, and then I pull the end through that one. You c So I'll do it and then I'll show you a different way maybe that would be easier to understand. What you could do, I don't know if I can redo that. But anyway, there, yeah, let's see if I can undo this and then show a different knot. I think you could probably we're doing this in real time or what was the term <laughs> this will be unedited this will be everybody being patient with me while I undo a knot I, I tied too tightly um, but I was thinking I could probably there we go we're good now it's going to be easy and you could do it other ways, but yeah, this is just, I wanted to make a video of how I do it because I had a video I was recommending and I realized it's quite different than, than, you know, kind of this loom and things. Okay, so we're back to this one. We wrapped from the back, wrapped around to the front and back through the notch a second time. You could also, I was thinking, do this like <clears throat> through here, tighten it, pull on this to tighten that, and then go through this and pull tight and then do it again except this time I guess you can't really loosen it as much so just do another put it under through here and tighten that might be easier to understand <laughs> I don't know <laughs> anyway hopefully that was helpful and not horribly confusing and so in the end you know you got all your warp ends here on the front you have your first knot we made is right there second knot is right here you do end up with two pieces of yarn here but really this is the only end you're going to be working with weave it up and then take it off